Hello, and welcome to a blind walkthrough of a new game uh, series. Uh, me and Yaku are checking out Kerbal Space Program. Yes. Canada is going to space officially. Yes. Even or though we already have the Canada arm. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's good for, you know. What is the Canada arm used for? Uh, it's just used to transport stuff from the space shuttles, which mm. uh, they might be retiring anyway. They don't even use space shuttles anymore. Yeah. They use Soyuz rockets, so Russia... Is pretty much controlling going to space now. Ironically, yeah, they won the space race. Yeah, apparently, they the came US back and out. yeah. Apparently, Russia came back. But, uh, All but right. no, yeah, it, I've never played this game. Uh, a lot of my clan mates on my StarCraft clan play it. A lot of my friends online play it. Did you want to play this? Like, did you want to take the controls? Um, well, let's do this. You can do the tutorial first. I'll watch. Right. We'll, um, we'll decide who's gonna. It doesn't really matter because most of it's strategic anyway, right? Moon or bust. Uh, start new. Or, yeah, we're gonna do training. Yeah, first. we're we're gonna. Oh, they have centurion. Nice. Uh, Construction basics. Yeah. We should probably just run through. Let's do them all. We can we yeah. can do them all here. Uh, this tutorial presented by famous rocket scientist Werner von Kerman himself. Uh -huh. Playoff um, Werner von Braun. It cover, NASA. covers the basics of rocket construction and the vehicle assembly building. He's waiting for you down there, and he's always in high demand. Don't dally. Werner von Braun, who was a Nazi rocketeer and was saved in Operation Paperclip and brought mm. to the United States, founded NASA. Mm. I don't know if he's a, like a Nazi, but he, he did work with the Nazis. Uh, vessel construction. Welcome to today's lecture on vessel construction. I'm, I'm Werner von here. Herman. Hello. Whether you want to put a satellite in orbit, fly a transcontinental flight, or step on to the very surface of the moon. The moon. <laughs> and, yeah, they have. Well, the Kerbals are on their own planet, yeah. their own star look at, system. Look at them go around. Look at them. Yeah. Look at them run. <laughs> and uh, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. It should be pretty easy, even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. Pretty easy. Well, it's it's, not rock, rocket it's just science. rocket science. -y. First part required in any vessel construction is a command module. This part will either contain a plucky Kerbal crew or an automated pilot mechanism. Select a command module for the parts list. Okay, we're gonna... Let's grab a man... Uh, whoa. Oh, hang on. We can't see. No, no, we can't see the top. Look. Yeah. Oh, this could be a problem. Yeah, we're playing on a lower resolution, but I don't think the game's actually... The game's not actually designed for the resolution that I... Why don't you just make the screen, like... Taller? Up, yeah. Up the resolution. Like, in the, in the config file. Uh, because that might risk causing lag for Let's Play. Well, not if you make it a little taller. It won't cause lag. What? Oh, well, how much more lag do... We, how much taller do we want it? I don't know about that much. How much would you say, numerically? Uh, five... Hundred. Five hundred? Five ten? Can you give it a try? Crank it up five hundred? To about five hundred, yeah. Well, it's already at eight forty. Or... No, like, wait, eight forty's... The eight forty's the width. width. I'm talking about the height. If you uh, put let's, it... let's try that. We'll all right. be right back. Oh, look yep. at all those features. <laughs> okay, and we're back. Uh -huh. He talked. I didn't remember him talking last Neither time. Neither did I. Whoa, Werner von Kerman. Okay. Oh, it's still kind of... It cuts off the top bit. Um... Do you want to make it a touch bigger, do you think? Um... Should we go to 630? I don't. Let's I don't want to crank it up to seven hundred. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Hopefully this works. <laughs> yep, it does. Perfect. What? Go to the other one. I swear it's lower now. Look. Yeah, it is. Oh, this that's kind of why I didn't really want to lower it because I didn't really. It didn't bug me that. I don't know. He's it, so mad. <laughs> yeah, I am. He's so mad. I'm the one who gets well, mad. Well, I'm at thinking games. we're probably gonna get choppy footage now because this computer is bad for recording. Um, anyways, which one should we pick? Uh, okay, this, um, wait, let's see, a description, I just want to see which one has a crew, minimum crew to operate one, SAS equipped, <laughs> SAS, isn't that British Special Secret Service? I don't know. <laughs> I think it is. Where's the automatic one? Well, I guess we can pick one of these two. How much is the other one? Twelve. Well done, interesting choice. He didn't sound too impressed. It's like, mm, it's kind of like me having to crank up a resolution. Not, not what I would have picked. Not what I would have picked. Thanks. Do you ever need to move the vessel around the screen? You can pick it up by clicking the command pod. 
This will allow you to get more parts beneath the vessel. The next thing we need to we need is some fuel to burn. Select one of the fuel tanks on the left. Okay. Yeah, I get the cheap one. Alright. We have a fuel tank. Not too bad, you might just be getting the hang of this. Wow, we're pointing and clicking, Mr. Kervin. <laughs> hey! That's way too excited. <laughs> now let's just add a rocket to the ship. This creates a jet of high energy gas, which pushes the vessel along. Select one from the left and add it underneath the fuel tank. This is like rocket science 101 here. <laughs> Looking good, you remind me of a younger, so less experienced. <laughs> <laughs> younger, less experienced, considerably less famous version of myself. Wow, you're not conceited at all, mister. Some parts are designed to be attached to the surface of others. These allow you to build intricate ra radial structures and attach even ever more rockets. <laughs> now attach some <laughs> radical parts to the vessel. I really don't want to freeze it right now. Buttons in the bottom left of the screen to control how the editor duplicates and snaps surface mounted parts. Hmm. Interesting looking ship. Oh, was I supposed to add something? Wait, well, what's he saying? Interesting looking ship. Let's hope it goes better than it looks. If you want to see <laughs> weight <laughs> lifted. <laughs> And thrust distribution, you can use the three small buttons on the lower left. Oh, okay. Oh, so what's the center mass? Okay, wow, this this is going to involve some physics, but it looks pretty basic physics, so... Okay. I was worried it was going to be this much weight here and here. I'm like, oh no. We have our pen and paper ready if we need it. <laughs> Last but not least, make sure you assign a name to your vessel Wait. by selecting the name box and then save it. Hey! Looks like our time is almost up. I have to go give yet another science briefing to the world's media. I'll unlock the rest of the parts and features for you to play with. You can hit the launch button when you're ready to fly. Aim for the stars, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right. Do we want to add some more stuff for well, what do the we, next tutorial? Well, what's that toilet seat at the top right? <laughs> <laughs> that is the TBR200L stacked by adapter. AKA it is toilet seat. Toilet. After realizing. What does it do? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I have. I think it's used to connect things together. I just want to see what these are. Oh, these are all toilet seats. Look at these. Hubmax multi-point connector. There you go. It looks a bit like a uh, cube, almost. A little, a little different. Oh, what's this? Small hard point. Fit against fuse lodge. I think we're almost ready to fly, actually. This looks like a shaft right here. <laughs> so does this thing. I guess these are... What are these, actually? Hang on. Are these structural? Oh, we can see aerodynamic. Oh, whoa, 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 where am I going? Pods. Propulsion. Control. Oh, what are these? Well, these are like stabilizers. Yeah. Avionics package. Should we just fly this thing? Sure. <laughs> okay. That yeah. is if we know how. Center, Last... center of lift. Center of lift. I'm sorry. We have no center of lift, apparently. <laughs> Uh, right click. Oh, okay. I figured that bit out. Oh, oh, the center of lift is right down there. I have no idea if that's supposed to be healthy or not. Is it being way down there? It should be because you want the uh, lift to be at the bottom of it. Yeah, that's true. Alright, shall we fly our ship here? Let's give it a try. We don't, oh, we gotta name it still. We didn't name it. Uh, train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the uh, christening of the train wreck. All right, train wreck one. <laughs> one point oh. What? 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? We're, apparently, we're in space. We're. I was expecting the launch pad. What? Can you see, this is why I really want to look at the uh, tutorial first, because I literally have no idea what's. 
Where are we? Nope. 